Today's the eight. All right, angles and parallel lines. And last week we talked about some, uh, described some angle pairs. And today we're going to associate some rules with those angle pairs. So let's start with if, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Then the following is true. So let's get two parallel lines. We'll go with L and M. We will cut them with a transversal. We'll call it T. And then we'll number these angles. And here's what's true. Corresponding angles are congruent. And so can anyone give me a pair of corresponding angles? There's four pairs. We talked about this on Wednesday. There's four pairs of corresponding angles in this picture. Can anybody give me one pair? Yes, sir. Okay, so one, angle one, is congruent to angle five. Very good. Yes, here, right in front of me, that's Peyton. Angle, good, angle two is congruent to angle six. Third pair, yes, ma'am. Angle four is congruent to angle eight. And finally, Jenna. Very good, angle three is congruent to angle seven. Corresponding angles are congruent. The line's gotta be parallel. All right, the lines got to be parallel. Two lines, two parallel lines, real important. Parallel lines are cut by a transversal. The following is true. Corresponding angles are congruent. <clears throat> Alternate interior angles. are congruent. And who can give me a pair of alternate interior angles? There's two pairs up in that picture right there, up in that diagram. Somebody go ahead and volunteer up right there. Go ahead, how about somebody volunteer? Yes, sir. Angle four is congruent to angle six. Very good.
Angle fours can grow into angle six. And how about Tori? What's the other pair? Tori Hightower. How about Melanie? Melanie Berger, other pair of alternate interior angles in this picture. Ooh. How about Ashley? Ashley, where you at Ashley? The other pair of alternate interior angles. If four and six were one pair, what's the other pair? Very good. Angle three is congruent to angle five. All right. Alternate exterior angles. Are congruent. You Snapchatting? Who you Snapchatting? Huh? Peyton? Is she paying attention? Do you think? Should we call on her or no? Leave her alone. Okay. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Anybody got any volunteers? Yes, sir. Very good. Angle one is congruent to angle seven. And what's the other pair in that picture? Yes, ma'am, right here. Two and eight. Very good. Angle two is congruent to angle eight. All right, so corresponding alternate interior and alternate exterior, those are all congruent. Got it? Alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding. Those are all congruent. So that get these all get a big red star. All right, so now we're going to say that same side interior are supplementary who remembers what that big word means trinity not you <laughs> kaden Atta boy, the angle sum 180. All right, the angle sum 180. So can we say that somebody give me a pair of same side interiors? Bayardo. Three and six, very good. So watch, angle three plus angle six is going to equal 180 degrees. That's what that means. Same side interiors are supplementary. So angle three plus angle six has to equal 180. What's the other equation I can write? Jenna. Very good. Angle four plus angle five equals 180 degrees. All right, that's what that means. That's your fourth rule. Same side interior are supplementary. They sum 180. That covers all your rules. We got alternate exteriors, we got alternate interiors, corresponding or congruent, 
same side interior or supplementary. Okay, so now we're going to apply this rule or these rules. So let's take a look at I need another diagram. Here's the transversal. We're going to be told that these two lines are parallel. And we got our angles again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's see the measure of angle five. equals 72 degrees. Find the measure. Of the other angles. All right, so angle five right here. And let me see if I can get another color. Let's go. I'm going to use blue. So angle five right here, this is 72 degrees. And here's what I like to do. Whether they're asking you to find one other angle or all the other angles, when you get a picture like this, just write in all the other angles based on the rules you just wrote down. All right, based on the rule you just wrote down or the rules you just wrote down, can someone tell me the measure of another angle in this picture? Yes. Yeah. One is also 72 because they're corresponding, right? What else? Remember the rule about vertical angles? Remember the other rule you just wrote down? What else? Do you, yes. Four and eight or 108. Because 72 plus angle four, don't those two form a line? And if they form a line, they're supplementary. So this side would be 108. And now angle eight is also 108 because they're corresponding. Agreed? Okay, so here, by this rule, by alternate exterior angles rule, what's the measure of angle two? Good, 108. And what does angle two correspond to? So what's the measure of six? And look, by other reasons, right? Two and six correspond, don't they? So they're congruent. Now look at six and eight. Those are called vertical angles. Remember that from last week? They're congruent as well. Look at angle one and angle seven. What are those called? Very good. So what's the measure of angle seven? 72 degrees, very good. And last but not least, angle three. 72. Who can give me one reason that angle three was 72 degrees, Jenna. Same side interiors are supplementary. Perfect. Another reason. Yes. It's alternate interior with angle five. Very good. What's another reason? Yes. Corresponds to angle seven. Very good. What else? Two more reasons. Is it vertical to anything? Is it vertical angle with angle one? Angle one and angle three are vertical angles, so they're congruent. Is angle three a linear pair with anything? What's angle three a linear pair with? Forms a line. What's angle three next to, and it forms a line? What, which angle? Is it next to angle two, and it forms this line, the transversal? 
Y'all see that? Is it next to angle four and it forms this? We can call that line L and line M. See how it's next to line or next to angle four and it forms line L? So it's a linear pair with both of those angles. So that's another reason that those two angles are congruent to each other. They're both a linear pair to the same angle. Okay. Very good. Well done. Well done. That was so much fun. We're going to do it again. So let's do it in a little different picture. Now we've got kind of a this. End of this. Here's our transversal. We'll go L, M, T. And now we've got uh, one, two. All right, now they're numbered a little bit different. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We got to find, let's see, where did they put the X? They say that if the measure, if the measure of angle four equals two X minus one and angle one equals 80, 85, find X. And again, I like to write these measures in here. It makes, it helps my eyes. Angle four is two X minus one. So here's four. So it's two X minus one degrees. Angle one is equal to 85 degrees, 85 degrees. All right, they're going to make you think a little bit here. These two angles don't have a direct relationship, do they? They don't correspond. They're not alternate interiors. They're not alternate exteriors. They're not same side interiors. But what other information do you know about this diagram that could help you find X? Yes. Angle one and angle eight, some 180, right? Very good. Very good. So did everybody hear her? If one and eight, some 180, doesn't angle eight then equal 95 degrees? And then she said that angle eight and angle four are congruent because they are alternate interiors. So now you can solve for X. You can say that 95 equals two X minus one. You can add one to each side. So 96 equals two X and you can divide both sides by two. So what's 96 divided by two? Forty-eight. So forty-eight equals X. Any questions on that concept? When you get when you're given information about two angles, but the two angles aren't necessarily not necessarily related. The other thing you could have done, you could have said that angle three is 85. And then you could have said that angle or you could have said that 85 plus 2x minus 1. What do those two add up to? 180. So there's a couple different ways you could have solved that. All right, let's draw this. We're going to go here 
and here. Now the transversal is L, and we've got a J and a K. We've got angles 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 5, 6, 7, and 8. Angle 2 is equal to 4x plus 7. Angle 7 equals 5x minus 13. Find x. All right, so angle 2, 4x plus 7. Angle two is right here. This is 4x plus 7. Angle 7 is 5x minus 13. All right, so do we have a relationship? Do we have a relationship between angle 2 and angle 7? If so, what is it? Yes. Alternate exterior. What do you know about alternate exterior angles? Congruent? So what is 4x plus 7 going to be equal to? Very good. 5x minus 13. So now we can solve for x. We can subtract 4x from each side. So our 7 equals x minus 13 and add 13 to each side. So 20 is equal to x. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can, can I call you back? Everybody good with that? Alternate exterior angles congruent. You gotta set the uh, gotta set the expressions equal to each other. Let's find y now. If uh, angle five equals sixty-eight, angle three equals three y minus two. And we gotta find y. So where's angle five is right here. It's 68 degrees. Angle three is three Y minus two degrees. All right, do we have a relationship? Is there a relationship between angle three and angle five? Yes. Same side interior. And what do you know about same side interiors when these two lines are parallel? Say again? Supplementary. So we're going to say that 3y minus 2 plus the 68 has to equal 180. So we're going to combine like terms. All right, this negative 2 and 68 got to be combined. So 3y plus 66 equals 180. Going to subtract 66 from each side. 3y equals 114. And then dividing by 3. Thirty-eight. So there's your value of y.
And one more rule to write down relating to perpendicular lines. We're going to say that in a plane, if a line I'm not going to write is perpendicular to, I'm going to put the symbol for it. If a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other line. In a plane, if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other line. So if a line, here's line A, Here's line B. And let's take line C. If A is parallel to B, If C is perpendicular to A, then it's also perpendicular to B. And it would be perpendicular to any other line that's parallel to A or B. So we're going to say here that if A is parallel to B, and A is perpendicular to C, then if A is parallel to B and A is perpendicular to C, then B is perpendicular to C. And it, it's just another way of using the rules you just used, right? Because you got two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Well, these two angles that I just put 90 degree angle marks on, they correspond, right? So if one angle is 90, the other angle is 90. Now watch, don't, aren't these two congruent? These two are congruent here because they're vertical angles. And then this is congruent to this because they correspond. And you can see what happens here. All right, linear pair and then vertical angles and then corresponding and alternate exterior. And by all the rules we just went over, all those angles are gonna be 90 degrees, aren't they? All right, all the angles formed are gonna be 90 degrees. If a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines or one or more parallel lines, then all the angles are going to be 90 degrees. All the angles will be 90 degrees. All right. So I'm going to give you some practice to do. Today's practice is going to be Page 33 and 34. All problems. When you've completed that,
Sometime today, after school, be sure to check focus for homework. If you are an e-learner, you are excused from the rest of this meeting. Well, this meeting isn't going to, this meeting is going to be over here in about, if you don't have any questions, this meeting is going to be over in about, oh, I don't know, 13 seconds. So you're excused to go work on your assignment. You guys that are in class, you know the drill. <laughs>